Okay, I'm here at the Wired Fest. Now, what do you think the use of a robot like this might be someday? For example, for celebrities, if you want to run away from paparazzi, <laughs> here's a solution for you. It can also be done, done for presidents who want to, for security, have a double body. You know, another idea, you probably don't want broadcast this, is for carpool. <laughs> Actually, in Southern California, that's a brilliant idea. And also for home care, you don't want a cold machine robot to serve you, right? So, of course, at home, you want a pretty lady or a nurse-like. Or a handsome guy like oh. your dad. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> So tell me about this. How long have you guys been working on this? When my father had this idea about three years ago, and he thought there was a perfect marriage between art and technology. So my brother and I laughed at him and said, that's a crazy idea. Oh, Dad, you have all these silly ideas. <laughs> I said, well, you got enough business going for your silicon figures through museums. I think that there is a, it's the future. Mr. Bill Gates even predicted that the, the robots could be the household. So that's why he started this. What makes it so lifelike? Because, it, I mean, I, it's really astonishingly lifelike. That's exactly our company's strength, which is build the lifelike of the silicon figures. And uh, it's all handcraft. Every single step is by hand and customer made. And look at the hair. All the hair has been plucked by piece by piece, 60 to 80,000 pieces of hair and it's done by labor, very intensive. Well, we think, my father envisioned that the robot can, be, of course, do museum for it to add more interaction to the audience. Well, it's speak of funny and spooky. Last night, the cleaning lady was cleaning around the hall in the dark. Of course, the robot was sitting in the dark and staring at her. And all of a sudden, when she turned around, she saw there's a real guy who was sitting in the dark and staring at her. And she screamed, <laughs> and the security guard showed up. So ended up the security guard thought there was someone got sick sitting in the dark. So they called the ambulance. And so what did they say? The oh, guy doesn't have any pulse. Well, when I heard this, this is a quite a flattering. It's really a great payoff for my father's idea and our teamwork. That is so sweet. It's a family business. Obviously, you all love each other very much. It's just really wonderful to see how you brought this all together. You're really brilliant. Thank you so much. It's such a flattering compliment from you. There are many different ways to, to apply this in this the product. Walmart reader, the new Walmart reader. I was thinking of... Put in a wheelchair. <laughs> Hello? I was actually thinking of uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, the Colonel. Wow, yeah, we can make him even look younger, too. Oh, he would have a facelift even. That would be great. I would like the real father of Becco Zo to please stand up. That is so amazing. If you want to know more details or any readers or audience want to know more details, you can go on our website. It's www.xsm.cn.